Ready for our first case, please introduce yourself, state your name, and DOC number for the record. I got the last one twenty four five three. All right, Mr. Lachie, you heard the introductions. We have a parole interview. I ask you some questions. You can respond at the end. You can make a statement. And take it. We'll take a vote. Do you understand the process? All right. Do you understand how we're going to do it? We're going to ask you some questions. You can answer them, and then at the end, you can make your own statement. And then we'll we'll take a vote. Okay. You understand? Okay. All right. MacArthur Latchy, DOC number 120453. You're a first class offender. Parole eligibility date 3 2, 2023. Good time 12 8, 2036. Full term 10 7, 2086. A second degree murder charge. 99 year. Uh, your sentence was uh, commutated to 99. Commutation of sentence 99 years on. Uh, Second day of March 2023 by Governor Edwards. Does that sound correct? Yeah. How old are you, Mr. Latchy? 73. How many years have you been incarcerated? About 37. 37? Yes, sir. Um and, and I, I see where you've had a, a lot of hospital stays. What, what do you have going on? Well, I had a stroke. And uh, right eye went foggy on me. Okay. Are you, um, and I see you're in a wheelchair. Do you walk? Well, sometimes my leg gives out. But, but can you walk around if you need to? I can walk. Okay, you, you can do you, so. You normally walk around if you need to go somewhere. You can you can get around. Yes, I know. Well, tell me, um, did you uh, graduate from high school, or, mm -hmm. or do you have a high school diploma, or do you have a GED? No, uh, I I graduated from the eighth and ninth. I quit then later on when I. We took that's uh, Northwestern we got all the basics plus two college. What kind of classes have you been taking while you've been in there? Well, I've been going to this. I've been uh, uh, going through these programs, uh, uh, like CPR and uh, faith base and alcoholic economics. Cool. Uh, well, she got the rest of the last week. I don't know what's on. She didn't see no copy of that. Right. I got it. I got it. Well, tell me just briefly, tell me about the crime. It's a pretty significant crime you, you committed here many years ago. What what, what was happening where you are? Uh, what was going on? <clears throat> well, he told me he was coming back and killed him. And, uh, then he came back and said, he just want to drag my name up down the road. I, I, and I told him, I said, uh, let's stay away from my house. And uh, he said, he would, but he didn't. The so one day I was standing there, one morning I was standing out there drinking some coffee, and I had a, had a picture that, you know, to take care of around the house because I had two kids there uh, going to school. And uh, I moved the picture before we get out of school and I put it in my pocket. Just standing out in front of my door, uh, in a flat, you know, in the apartment, and and uh, and I hear some rowing coming, oh, and there was two cars coming, and I didn't know it was him, but he told me to stay with, and uh, he come and get in, told me I told y'all catch that side, I got you know, kind of run over with the car, so I hit some old side pants on with the pistols, and I put, and I, I just uh, blank and went to shoot. He was trying to keep me with the cup. Now, did you have it, 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 did you, did you have alcohol or a drug problem back then? No, sir. None? None. Were you working? Not at the time. What kind of work did you do? Well, I used to work at the 40th year, National Forest, 
Coca Cola company. Uh, I went to Norway State College, boy. And I preach and sing. And, you know, another day job in far. What, what have you been? What, so, is that what you've been doing since you've been in, incarcerated? What you've been doing since you've been incarcerated? Well, when I got out of the field, I started driving tractor. I couldn't drive to the tractor. And I then, uh, you know, I couldn't do that no more. They put me in a wagon and shine the brass shows, you know, until I got sick. Are you a trustee? Yes, sir. How long have you been a trustee? Since 1996. So what, what's your plans if you were to be released early? Where are you going to go and what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to stay with my niece, uh, Leslie Lachie. And, uh, well, you know, if I make you do some kind of work over here or not, I just have to depend on my security. No okay. All right, we uh, <clears throat> Warden, you got any input? Any input for us on him? Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Joe Butcher's assistant warden. Uh, he transferred to Hunt in May, uh, almost the end of May, to our assisted living unit. Um, it, we opened an assisted living dorm uh, a few months ago, and he did tran transfer to us from from Angola to to reside there. He's been there since, um, as you can see, he is in a wheelchair. Um, he's, he's no trouble, uh, has not been. Um, he's just living with our other, our other group of geriatric inmates, uh, you know, in this environment. Uh, but nothing to speak of. He's got a low tiger risk score. Um, he was uh, in, in a medical dorm at Angola, I, I do see in his record. So, you know, he's been living in a medical environment for, for a period of time. So. All right, great, thank you. And now we'll hear from Andrew Hundley. Thank you, Andrew Hundley, representing Louisiana Parole Project, uh, confirming that Mark Arthur is a client of our organization. Uh, if he should be released, his initial reentry plan will have him coming uh, to our transitional housing in Baton Rouge to complete phase one where we will um, assist him with his initial needs, give him some uh, living skills, uh, life skills classes to help him adjust to uh, his transition on the outside. And once he completes phase one, he will be moving to Natchitoches to live with family where he has an excellent support system based on uh, his great disciplinary record and all he's done uh, during these many years of incarceration. Uh, we feel like he's an excellent candidate for release and we'll be there to, to support him and provide case management to him uh, for a minimum of one year after his release. Thank you. All right, thank you. Now, I hear from uh, Tiffany Flournoy. I'm an advocate for uh, Mr. MacArthur Latchy, and I've been advocating for him for the past couple of years. Um, I do support his release and believe that he can be effectively released back into society. Um, he has a strong support system like um, Hundley met, um, mentioned earlier. And I also believe that he can, he, he can heal there with his family. Um, in communicating with him over the last years, I've been able to witness his remorse for the crime, his correction and his rehabilitation. So I strongly believe that he can be an effective and positive member of society. And along that journey upon his release, then I'll be there every step of the way to assist his family in supporting him and continuing to help him walk his faith walk into freedom. Thank you. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, Ms. Tashinda Lachi. Um, yes, sir. Um, as family, we are all supporting his release. We will, um, we will be supporting him mentally, physically, and financially, helping him regain his health and um and his strength back as well. All right, thank you. We also have Thomas Latchy and Leona Latchy that are just here to watch. Just wanted to make a note of that for the record. All right, Mr. MacArthur, would you like to make a statement on your behalf? No. Okay. All right. Down fair to vote. I'll vote. 
Uh, I vote to grant your parole today. Uh, it looks like you hadn't had disciplinary right up since 04. You've been a trustee for a long time. You've done a lot of good work inside. Uh, I would release you to the uh, Louisiana Parole Project. And, and so they can uh, follow you, get you some transitional housing and move on from there. Uh, that's my vote. Ms. Jackson. Uh, Mr. Lachey, mine is the same. You've done well. Um, I don't think you pose a threat to the community. You have a good support system. So I vote to grant your release to the Louisiana Parole Project. Ms. Renasa. Mr. Lachey, I do agree. Uh, my vote also is to grant for the same reasons. Good luck to you, sir. We're going to vote to grant your parole. Your parole's been granted. Good luck to you. And we'll adjourn at 8.37 at 1. Thank you, Warren. Yes, sir. Thank you.